Hey all, Dekubot here, and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Last time we had some more hijinks with Takatoshi and Okino, and as always, it was hilarious. These two are still so much fun. Oh, big thanks to you guys for pushing this channel over 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Still got a long ways to go to get to the goals I'm hoping for, but hey, every little bit counts. Now, I promised you guys that we were going to start off with a little bit of the old destruction today. What are we looking at? I need Shinonome and Sekigahara. And does not look like either of them are in brain overload, which is good. Ready. Fortunately, half of my crew is in overload, so this should be fun. Uh, no, you're in. What are we looking at, actually? Modified Apsos Kaiju will appear. Well, that's no good. Well, in that case, we're gonna take a Gen 4 and another Gen 1. All right, let's uh, do the upgrading and I'll see you on the other side. All right, I think we're all set and ready to go. Everyone's sitting on at least a plus one, if not a plus two for most of their primary skills. And we are set. What are we looking at? Arm mounted pulsulators is my S rank and comms device is my bonus. The fact that there are a bunch of shield guys is going to be annoying, though, so let's have some fun with this one. <sighs> I foresee a lot of EMPs in my future. I have to say, the composite ceramic armor. Our enemies have some smart-looking defenses. <laughs> You've got some smart-looking defenses, like too. Chance to disengage my limiters, my sentinel would be invincible. Sounds to me like you're just looking for an excuse to punch them. I have all I need. <laughs> Let them send their machine swarms and their four-legged beasts. I'll take them all down myself. Damn, Takatoshi. Little cocky that there. Was not an EMP, dumbass. You can't just punch the flyers and the shield guys. Why do you even want extra armor? Isn't that why you got your defense mode? You need to pick your equipment based on the situation. If you two want to play hero, do it on your own time. <laughs> what you say? You really are trying to start shit, huh? Uh, Don't let me in with Ogata. I'm actually serious about winning. And yeah, the first gens have some oh, really cool tech. I'm serious, Yujiyama? Do I sound like I'm joking to you? Hey, don't let me interrupt you guys, but uh, we've got company. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Standard victory and loss. Now, I think I actually did put limited removal on one of my Gen 1s. I just don't remember which don't one who's got chances. it on them right now. Uh, where's my other Gen 1? Okay. So, no, it's on Takatoshi, and Takatoshi's not in this fight, but no he is uh, sitting on limited removal at don't the moment. What's optimal? what's optimal is you guys Backup start with the boy. god dang uh, heavy shit. What's the plan? Okay, let's do Get this. all these interceptors out. And get our double turret going. Don't waste any chance. Okay. I'll take them down quick. <laughs> yeah, plus two sentry turret. Yeah. yeah. The fact that I get two of these. Come on. Warning. Up. Identified. There's my warning. Man, they've got new Abzos models out too. Uh-huh. We don't stomp them out quick, they're gonna be a real pain in the butt. Oh, there's more than that. I see an enemy sentinel in there, if I'm not mistaken, right? There he is. There's a gladiator. Shit. Well, this just got a lot more hairy. Well, fudge. What do we do about that? Hmm. And now they've all got shields too, son of a bitch. What's our plan? Well, our plan is to get him close enough that he can pop the old EMP attractor and just completely shut down those shields. Good. Target destroyed. I won't back down. Now we can get somewhere. <laughs> this seems excessive, but uh, no, let's uh No. The Sentinel's armored. That's the problem. No. So we're gonna have to chunk this guy down a few shots. What's optimal? Well, 
fire off a few convergent lasers through here. That's what's optimal. How many down? Okay. What's the plan? More interceptors. More interceptors is the plan. What do I do? Well, you're gonna get over here and you're gonna basically start cleaning up as many of these absos as you can. What's the situation? Ooh. Ooh, there's a missile coming. I need to deal with that. Hang on, just a second. You. Attack landed. Oh my god, they're reshielded? I'll try. Oh shit. What's the plan? Uh well two. All these shields are gonna be a massive pain in my ass. That's not good. That's not good. That is so not good. Take it. How's the sentinel? The sentinel is in deep shit right now. I'm gonna burn a lot of EMPs just knocking these guys out, aren't I? I need to get to those Apsos. That's my real problem. Pop this sucker here right off the bat. Bonk. Don't waste any chances. Now we can do some damage. Whew. There's so many of these things in here that need to go away. That work? Yeah, that left? did good. Enemies. Here's the plan. I'm seeing an awful lot of zeros that I'm not liking. Ooh. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get rid of this. Yeah, they're like any other punks indeed. Can I get behind this big mother? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, so close! So close! Oh, right, I haven't looked at an upgraded Apsos yet, have I? <laughs> this second generation Kaiju's improved modified Apsos. On top of providing defense, its shield now has a repair function. Ugh! Because it both protects and repairs nearby Kaiju, it's critical to destroy them on sight. You! Sensor. Oh, we we need to get rid of you now. But I think it's shielded right now, isn't it? Doesn't look like it's shielded. Take this. Good. Yeah, let's not let that Start thing destroyed. sit there. Oh, okay, that would have been bad. Ooh, can I get her close enough for a multi-lock missile barrage and kind of thin this herd and help this out? Because this is getting a little hairy over here. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Fire the big gun! More sentry guns, please. More sentry guns, please. Uh, he doesn't have enough for another one of those. Son of a bitch. Oof. No point overthinking it. Pop another one of these damn EMPs because this is basically where I'm gonna burn most of this fucking fight's abilities on. It's just these damn EMPs. All right, we have got to get rid of this guy. Thank you. God dang, he got a chunk of energy back from that. Oof. Uh, no. You're armored. So I need this gladiator go away. That's the critical thing. Okay, that was excessive. Fine. What's optimal? What's optimal is another squadron of the old interceptors. These things are super freaking useful. Uh, is that another gladiator? It is another goddamn gladiator. Need that back attack. Which direction are you facing, you pain in the ass? There we go. Come on. 
Just try and thin out as much of this herd as I can over here. Uh, again with you, again with you guys. Oh, there's a high quad in there too. Oof. Let's see, there's a drill fly over there. That's a drum mine. This another gladiator, or it's the same one. All right, well. In here and continue the old wrecking ball. Not throwing away my shot. No, you're not. Here we go. Goodbye. Did I get it? Oh, I'll try. You've got a lot of nothing to play with over here, dude. Just one Apsos over there. There's one Apsos over there. Kind of want to let the interceptors deal with that. That's a thing. I did not see you over there. Hi. Hi. Okay, no, we need to just come over here and start wrecking these guys. <laughs> Poor Ogata. He's just off on his own cleaning the house. Ooh, I don't have much. No fight, I can't win. Let's get you over here, actually. Now you can fire this off, so you can hit both of these guys. And shake out half the missiles, too. Even better. How's the Sentinel? Sentinel's fine. We got one lonely little drill fly over there. We've got a squad of those bastards over there. What's the plan? I think you're just set to move back. Oh, yeah, you're definitely set to move back. Number 11, moving out. Also, I just realized, yeah, they've got Sentinel mooks now. I knew that was going to be a problem. Uh, let's actually put a Guardian over here just to kind of reduce the pain and suffering of this crowd. Little worrisome. You need to get okay. Yeah, you need to seriously haul that ass over here. You need to recharge. No room for hesitation. Oh yeah. Here, suck on the EMP. Nothing special. Two Terra carriers. God dang you people. Can I get both of them with a single shot? I can't. I cannot get both of them with a single shot. Enemy on the move. I am disappointed. Recharge for right now, then. Okay. What now? <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys, but uh, this is gonna sting a little. Oh yeah! You like that? No fight, I can't win. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh hi! Come on. Got a stray drill fly over here. Don't let up. You gotta demolish your blade in the tank there, dude? This Come should on. take this guy out. That oh no, out. no it did not. But the turrets did it. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. We pushed them back somehow. Yeah, but the next fight's not gonna be so easy. Fancy upgraded kaiju are no joke. It's a vicious cycle. We're stuck in an arms race where we can only win by improving our own sentinels. <laughs> yep. I managed to analyze the new model of Abzos. It's not just the shields. Their auto repair nanotech got a major boost too. Mm. Seriously? I was just thinking it was weird how long they were lasting. If we don't counter them with EMP equipment, we won't stand a chance. Yep. Having less direct offense isn't ideal, but if we don't disable them, they'll get out of control. <laughs> Hence the reason I blew two EMPs in this fight. A lot of time. It can't be that long left. All right. How much more time do we need for this big save the world program? Eh, still quite a bit, unfortunately. Well. Yeah, you don't want to explain we... it, do you? Wait. Of course not. Ah, uh, Sekigahara got a little messed up, but not too bad. I won't lose to the kaiju. <laughs> and of course, Ryoko's turrets are the MVP again. Three-star combo, always good I can get those. There's our S rank. And we should have both of our little side objectives. 
Oh no! I didn't see the second one! Ah! Oh. oh, disappointment! Disappointment! Oh, I cannot believe I missed that! Oh! Oh, that's so disappointing! Oh no! I can only do this with first and second gens? Oh, how the hell did I miss seeing that? Crap. Well, alright, I'll be right back as I'm gonna go repeat this mission. Okay, that's much better. Much better. <laughs> There's my comm device, and now I have an absurd amount of mystery points. Good lord, there is an absurd amount of mystery points there. Okay, now we can actually head... Oh, no, I didn't want to change the battle style, thank you. I just want to go back this way and read my new files. Here we are, the comm device! A transceiver used by the men in black suits. Its range is comparatively limited at 1.2 kilometers. And the good old arm-mounted pulse lasers. Fourth gen sentinel armament. Shoots laser beams from both arms intermittently. To make the intervals between each burst shorter, it sacrifices some precision, but since it can fire many lasers in a wide area, it's often used to keep enemy forces in check. Fourth gen units are the only sentinels capable of using laser weapons, the arm-mounted pulse lasers being one of them. That's right, the, only, the others don't have any sort of laser weaponry. And I have nothing I can unlock right now, but considering I have 14 mystery points to spend, there must obviously still be plenty of files for me to unlock in the future. Speaking of, let's go, let's see, we can only do Miura and A. And Miura is closer to being finished, let's do Miura's. Yes. Also, I know I was uh, wrong earlier, and thank you guys for pointing this out. I kept saying uh, Natsuno was trying to talk to uh, 18, or not Natsuno, Tomi was trying to talk to Sentinel 18. No, she was trying to talk to Sentinel 16. I don't know why I kept saying 18. <laughs> anyway, time to jump into Miura's most likely finale here. Good old May 1985 with clear skies. Judgment Day. Sunset. Time to make up my mind. Everything looks like it's made of gold. <laughs> I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. Oh, it said May. Yeah. The May 29th is the day of the final battle. I held Jihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. <laughs> Oh, only one keyword to consider. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. She's still family. What are you gonna do, dude? Go and get your sentinel back? Is that the plan? Oh, hey Takatoshi. Takatoshi-san. You actually showed up? What, That's you expected him not to? Us, doesn't it? <laughs> Why wouldn't I show up? So that's where it is, huh? Yep. Yeah. Getting that out's gonna the be a pain. Us inside that building. What are you guys gonna do? Just sneak in and Strange, take it? Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon, all this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. And I can't think about the Sentinel. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. <laughs> there we go. Now I can think. Oh, but it's not Sentinel I'm thinking about. It's Chihiro. Takatoshi san, if anything happens to me, oh, could you look after Chihiro? Dude, nothing is Don't gonna happen stupid. to you. Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. See? And if it ever looks grim. I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. Ooh, maybe not go quite that far. And don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. All right. Now we can go. Oh, actually, he's. Uh... I want you to show a little more spirit, Keitaro. <laughs> he had a new lie, and I almost missed. Now let's go get that sentinel. Let's go. We're taking back our sentinel. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> this should be good. Uh, wow, it's just just it sitting is. there, huh? Just how I remember it. Good old 19. Freeze! 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Where'd you get the phaser, dude? Did you steal it from Okino? He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still. It feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. Well, let's get this sucker out of here. I want to thank you, Takatoshi san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. Yes, it's you and your gun. To be thanking me. Right. Natsuno san's already out there fighting. Oh, she is. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? <laughs> I'll catch up to you soon. Yeah, we still got to get your Sentinel. All right, activate Sentinel. BJ. A different me from a different time. Mm-hmm. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. There's the start button. Let's get this old beastie in the ground. All right, no time to waste. Natsuno san, can you hear me? Mirakun, thank God. I thought it was all over. Just stay put. I'll be right there. Okay. I have to protect my family and everyone I hold dear. That's right, dude. Even you keep protecting her. My life. Okay, uh, not that far, though. Not that far. To the final battle! Yeah, I thought so. I figured he was about at the end. Miura's story cleared, and we get a mystery file updated. Which one will it be? Yep, it was his. When the kaiju appears in 1985, Miura takes back and activates Sentinel number 19 with the help of Hijiyama. At that moment, he decides that he will protect everyone he holds dear, even if it costs him his life. Well, hopefully he doesn't have to go quite that far. Well, with him cleared, looks like we're going to be heading into A storyline because, in all honesty, he's the only one I can unlock right now. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. Once we clear the next wave, everyone else is going to get unlocked. I think Goto's the only one that won't unlock at that point. Maybe one other person. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Well, it's been a while since we've seen your storyline, so where were we? Save and recall. A headed for the abandoned factory after tracing the travel log of the motorcycle he used before. Sekigahara requested that Tsukasa Okino back up his own memories. Okay, so this is where he was getting his memories backed up. And this one is him remembering Miura from the Sentinel 17. Okay, so this just is the cryptic. No oh, right. We can finally use the cryptic note. Uh. There we go. So the numbers were for a message service. Yep. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Maybe yourself, good sir. Or maybe Okino. But I'm betting, I'm betting pretty strongly you left this message for yourself. You've reached the automated message service. Please enter your user number. That should be the number on the note. There we go. Please enter your password. And that's the second number. <laughs> Oh. You have two new messages. Oh, two. Hello, A. It's me. Uh, yep. Turns out I was wrong. There are no outcomes where this ends well. Oh. My advice to you is to stop living in the past. Oh, this must have been really late in his old memories, like after he found out about the looping in Sector Zero with Morimura. You're responsible for your own future now. Shit. Hey, it's me. Oh. Well. And here's the are. other one. I imagine you're pretty confused right now. Uh-huh. Hearing this message, unable to remember a thing. <sighs> so, I've entrusted a message to a good friend of ours. If you seek him out, you'll likely find him with Natsunomi Nami. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm out of time. Above all else, finish the job. It's for my 
for your sake. I wonder if he left this message first. Understood. Hmm. What does that mean? It means you gotta go find yourself a Wally. An old fashioned phone. Yeah, I know it's an old fashioned phone. Okay. If that message from myself was true, then Natsu no Minami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Well, the best place to find now, her is at the school. I approach this? I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. Oh, this is the other new one. She may even be able to help me find Natsu no Minami. I was not expecting this to be a new one. I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Huh. Why is this one still lit? Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Uh-huh. Wasn't that Natsu no Minami? Yep. Let's go. See? Told you. Just had to go to the I'll school. You'll school find her. To get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. This damn track room gets a lot of traction. The front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Shoot Things Natsuno? Happen again? I wouldn't be able no, to that was Ryoko myself. that shot her before. I don't think uh, Natsuno needs to be shot by another phaser. Uh oh. Here comes the man in black. Not again. Oh, Yusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. Mm hmm. I'd better stay out of sight. Well, what's the plan here then? Oh, he's just gonna be there again, isn't he? Yep. Son of a bitch. They must be trying to pin me down here. Guess I'm steering clear of the track room for now. Well, shoot. Now where do I go? <sighs> huh. Do I just go back to the front? No. If I go to this side, ah. Excuse me. <laughs> where can I find someone who's on the track team? I'd say try the oh. track room, but... Well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? Looking for not to know. There we are. I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. Convenient. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. Well, hopefully this will also let me avoid getting spotted by the damn men in black. That's... Oh, Yuki. Uh-oh. Why is she looking at me suspiciously? She's the one who delivered that package to me. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember the that. Contain the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Why was she running like that? <laughs> yeah, follow her. Follow her is the right answer. I mean, maybe she'll lead me to not to know, or maybe she'll have she BJ with her again. Of course, BJ's gone at this point. She's leading me. Is she messing with me? She is so leading me somewhere. But for who is the question? Because Yuki has worked with a lot of different people. She's definitely up to something. I'm about to get blindsided here. Right? Oh, oh, there's Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Bastard! Oh! Stay the hell away from Nachan! <laughs> Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face. <sighs> Stop this right now, you two. It's not the first time she's had a gun in her face. Fine. Huh. <sighs> well. Thank you for saving me from getting the crap beat out of me, Natsuno. 
You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shino Nome. Yep. Total brain fry. That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. Yep. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... Yep. That's what showed me the footage of myself. What's left of BJ? Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. Oh. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. Oh. They're the ones who had it say all those things. Oh shit. SIU? The first message was full of shit? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working <laughs> with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Blackmail. Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. Mm -hmm. Why? Ida, probably. That's the best guess I've got. Yuki Takamiya. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. Huh. Alright, let's poke our nose so at what's left it. of BJ. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? Well, there's a he lot of messages me in this. You. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. This should be good. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Uh -huh. Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. Oh. This is a continuation of that conversation we saw in a flashback when he was talking to Miura while he was still in the Sentinel. My partnership with Ida. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. <laughs> No, no, do not say that sort of thing. This is hard enough to figure out with you guys, you know, deliberately withholding information. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Shikigahara. Please, Miura. <sighs> Show me the logs from 2188. Oh. I fucked up. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Oh. I killed the original Chihiro back in 2188? Hmm. Oh. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. Oh. After she left the company. I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. So you had her assassinated. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a terrible reason you to kill somebody. the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's Interstellar Development Project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. God dang it, could you guys be any more cryptic? And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. 
I'm an assassin. A professional. Oh, shit. Wow. He was a full-blown professional assassin back in the day. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, then I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. Mm. You'll find your research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. Shit. What was all that about? Nothing good. Nothing good at all. Morimura's that one teacher, right? Yep. You came here from the future to kill her? Uh, but no. More importantly, that already happened. The hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? Oh. That was Ida, huh? I'm an assassin? Yeah. <laughs> Morimura. So I really did do it. Mm-hmm. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? Well, thankfully you forgot that part. <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. Oh, geez. Uh-oh, flashback time. Flashback after the defeat of 2025. Oh. There you are. Hey, Ida. <sighs> more and more, I do not trust you, good sir. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. Why, I wasn't though? too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Ida, most likely. Someone did his research. Your sentinel was the source of the infection. Uh-huh. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. I call bullshit. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. Really? I thought for sure it was you! However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Isn't that why you're here? To see how things went in Sector 3? Oh yeah, it, it, it went well. It went swimmingly. The place is looking fine. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. Hmm. It was the only terminal tested on. But it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. Yeah, the only sector the left. 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. Well, I mean, what's the alternative? We loop and we fail again? Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. If we're unable to loop anymore, that is. <sighs> By loop, you mean going back in time, right? Well, I thought the whole time travel thing was horseshit. How is that different from shifting? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. Uh -huh. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Okay, Never we existed. knew that part. We knew that part about the whole colony thing. But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? No, this is just this a facsimile. Is the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. Hmm. Another world, you say? As in the prior loop? 
Oh boy. I've had enough of this crap. No, let him if finish really explaining. The world, then prove it. Please let him finish I explaining. You're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. The original 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Oh, like Ryoko's? Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. Ah. And that includes you. So it's not a true time loop, it's simply a reset button and then the world gets built up again. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. Uh-huh. And like Morimura said, she wasn't fully human at that point. She was simply some sort of AI construct under the control of Universal Control. Which now begs the question, are you something under the control of Universal Control as well? Uh, why is it getting darker? You're looking rather pale. Oh, the screen shake. It's the same thing Ryoko's got. It's the DD426 crap. Perhaps you should take your pills. Crud. Uh... Give me my damn nano machines. Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomiku? I kept a few behind for myself. You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then mm. I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. S I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. Ugh. So this is where I'm gonna get sicked on Morimura. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. Still don't believe me? Eh, yeah, not entirely. Not really. <laughs> well, you will once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. Yeah, Miura. I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world. So I'd like to get my hands on it. <sighs> See that drone over there? Drone? Yeah, the one that's been flying over your head the whole time. Oh, he landed at some point. I didn't this notice. Thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Mira. Oh. It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. Shit. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. <laughs> As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? Oh. You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. Aha. Uh -huh. You're asking me to lie to him? Yeah, and as he confirmed, you're kind of a lousy liar. He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why. But he's the only one who can track and activate it. <sighs> For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Mm-hmm. 
Well then. Mm hmm. Okay. So we've got a lot to think about here. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. Aha! Uh -huh. So try not to get caught. <laughs> so the men in black following us are just a frickin' smokescreen for you, Ida. I'm heading back to Sector 4. Okay. So, confirmation of a few things, and a lot more pieces are starting to fall into place now. One, Eat is an asshole. I mean, we kind of knew that, but now we have confirmation of it. Two, we now technically know what looping is. The world basically gets destroyed down to the most fundamental levels, and then the terminals just sort of restart. They just start back up again from wherever they were set to at the beginning, and then we wait the 15 or 16 odd years for to get to this point. And they've done it at least twice because I remember them saying the Izumi of two loops back figured out how to make the Sentinels. <sighs> and then E just basically is going to lock out the terminals. Hey, Miura. Hey, Miura. I'm glad you're okay. <sighs> and there we are, back at that scene. Oh, and A actually was going to lock and now he's unlocked. Oh, crap. But well, we have a bunch of mystery files to look at first. Let's see. Morimura from 2188. A former executive of Newman Inc. and a leading figure in nanotech research. She has a research lab in Sector 4, which is a colony that's still under construction. As for A... Before Sekigahara lost his memories, Tetsuya Ida told him to deceive Miura to extract information if he wanted to stop the effects of DD-426. We found out about the 2188 version of A. He's an assassin who was hired by the 2188 Renya Goto to kill Morimura. Uh, Goto, old geezer of doom here. During the acquisition of Newman, he used Morimura's interstellar development project as a front to hide a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund, then suspended the project to cover up the proof. However, Morimura's project was about to face another investigation by an international agency for project re-evaluation. Shortly before the nanomachine infection began, Renya Goto feared that the investigation would shed light on where his funds went, so he hired A to assassinate Morimura and put an end to her project. Sheesh. All this for money. Yuki! Under the SIU's order, she hands over the scout unit to A. Sekigahara, who has lost his memories. You seen that part? Oh, the pills. Sekigahara, prior to losing his memories, delivered these pills to Morimura in order to save Juro Karabe and Shinonome. Hmm. Operation Aegis. When the Aegis system is activated for all terminals, the world cannot be restarted, and they can no longer loop. Also, we got the loop here. The kaiju invasions cause the world to be reset every 16 years. As a result, the students grow up and die before reaching adulthood and are then born again to repeat the cycle. This cycle is what they call a loop. Once the kaiju gain control of every mainframe in all sectors, the world is automatically recreated as a new loop begins. If you save your own data or shift yourself to Sector Zero, then you'll be able to skip the reset and end up in the new world, which is 16 years in the past, while maintaining your current appearance. However, you would no longer be human in the new loop, but merely a simulated personality that Universal Control has reconstructed. Yep. That's what happened to Morimura. I remember that. Ah, good old Universal Control. When the Universal Control of all sectors gets taken over by the Daimos, the five sectors get reset, the world gets recreated, and a new loop occurs. Sector 3. It was used as a trial run for Operation Aegis. The self-defense system was successfully activated for one of the terminals here. <laughs> 2025 Kaiju Invasion. Morimura used Sector 3 as a trial for Operation Aegis. She succeeded in activating the self-defense system of one terminal. Didn't help for any of the others. And that's it. And his unlock was... 80% pr 
progress of 10 protagonists, so his was actually supposed to be relatively late. Huh. Well, I think that's a good point to stop this one here for now. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me because next time we are going to be finishing out Wave 2. Well, Area 2, I should say. And it looks like there's another boss battle. Goodness knows what the kaiju you've got planned for us now. But until then, see you guys in the next video.